And now, from a fun family outing to date nights and classes, the New Britain Museum of American Art has something really for everyone. Absolutely. Caitlin Francis is there live this morning to show us a new exhibit and what else you can find. Kate, how's it going? It is fantastic. We're having the best time ever here at the New Britain Museum of American Art, and we're here in one of the new exhibits, Justin Favela's exhibit here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, um, this is Justin Favela, Do You See What I See? This mm -hmm. is a recent exhibition that opened at the end of February, yeah. and it has already seen incredibly strong visitation. People are loving being in this space that is just brilliantly colorful and joyous. Um, uh, Justin Favela is a Las Vegas-born artist, um, and he's of uh, Guatemalan and Mexican heritage. So much of his work explores uh, Latinx life in America, the Latinx experience. And so in preparation for this exhibition, he spent time with us looking at our permanent collection, finding depictions of Latin America that he then kind of collaged and incorporated yeah. into this um, large scale mural that you see here. Yeah. It's literally so beautiful because, I mean, how can you miss all the colors? And he used tissue paper. Yes. So. Um, in a, in a way, he's kind of playing with traditional hierarchies. Mm -hmm. um, historically, paintings and sculptures have been privileged over materials that are more craft-based. So here, he's using a very craft-based material. Um, he's literally cut hundreds, if not thousands, of pieces of yeah. tissue paper to create this sort of immersive pinata. It's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10 would recommend coming to check this out. And as you walk in, I, let's take... Let's take a walk um, because it, as you walk into the museum, it's it's right to your left. Yes. It's right to your left. So I mean, when you walk in, you literally can't miss it. Right. So um, it's and it jumps literally jumps off the wall at you. And then this is part of what he gathered his inspiration from, right? Yes. So we spent time um, with our permanent collection, looking through depictions of Latin American subjects, landscapes, portraits. Um, these are sketchbooks by a Canadian artist named Keith Miller, um, who traveled the world and and um, recorded his experiences in these beautiful sketchbooks that we acquired in 2015. He now lives in Mexico, so you'll find a lot of depictions of um, these sort of lush tropical subject matter, the palm trees. Justin Favela lifted some of this imagery directly from the sketchbooks, and you can find it, if you look carefully, in this mural. Yeah. It's so, I mean, just fascinating how he was able to take those images and then literally cut tissue paper by hand and make this mural it's it's stunning so then if we walk a little bit further lisa mm -hmm. because obviously you have permanent pieces and he's taken one of those permanent pieces and created his own piece of artwork, right? Yes, so what's really fun about um, Justin's exhibition is that it extends throughout the museum's galleries. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a seek and find, um, and so you'll explore the galleries during your visit and you'll find several Justin Favela interventions or responses to pieces in our permanent collection that just offer a, a new and fresh perspective on this historic work, a uniquely Latinx perspective. Um, so this is one of the first interventions that we find. This is our colonial and federal gallery. And Justin Favela has recreated Raphael Peel's historic bowl of peaches from 1816. Um, Raphael Peel is um, known as one of the first professional still life painters in America. This is a beloved masterwork of the collection. And at the time that Raphael Peel would have painted this, it would have symbolized abundance and prosperity. Justin Favela's work takes a little bit of a different uh, different perspective in that um, peaches symbolize something completely different for him um, from a Latinx perspective. Um, he's often depicted food in his works as a way to um, call out the labor of um, Mexican farmers who are often laboring in the United States, whose labor is often invisible. Um, but there's also personal significance too. Justin talks about his uh, grandfather and his great grandfather coming to um, the United States for months at a time uh, to work the farms, and that his grandfather always had orange and peach trees on his property. Wow. So Justin was saying in visiting the museum, um, he thinks his grandfather, um, this would have been his grandfather's favorite work if he oh had come gosh, here. So kind amazing. of a nice personal yeah. connection too. That's awesome. So obviously you're going to learn a lot here when you come. Stunning pieces of artwork. There's a lot of uh, little school visitors who are here today as well. And there's events that some of them this weekend, including a, a 90s con themed event that's tonight. Yes, a museum after dark. So I think tickets are still available. We throw great parties here. So okay, fantastic. So check out the website if you're looking for more uh, fun to be had here at the New Britain Museum of American Art. Thank you so, so much for having Thank us. Thank you for joining. All right, we'll send things back to you guys.
All How right. fun! A How '90s fun con after dark. So fun! New Britain. They're just oh. a wonderful museum. I bet. I bet there's going to be a lot of neon there. I bet you're right. Oh yeah. All right. When